white guy pretty like a girl And he got five stories to tell I see both sides like Chanel See on both sides like Chanel I have so many new products that I want to try out today. First of all, I've got new contact lenses in, which are from visionmarketplace.com. These will be in the description box below. You can use the code DAILYBABY for 10% off, and they last a whole year. You guys always ask me about my contacts, so I thought I may as well give you the details. I feel like I'm gonna be doing a fruit series where I do like different fruits, because as you guys know, I think it was a strawberry one last time, and everybody loved that look, and since then i've been wanting to do like a fruit series and someone actually commented it on my previous video like oh my god you should make this into a series and i was like oh my god i was thinking that anyway so she gave me like the motivation to go ahead and actually do it so let's just start off with eyebrows i actually used this product quite a while back but i've got new colors this time because it just makes my eyebrows look more natural usually i would go for the black color which isn't actually straight up black it's more like a brown but i guess it's for people with black hair um yeah this is the dark one but i've actually been using a color this light which is the chocolate color all i do is i like fill in the shape of my eyebrow with the lighter color and what i like about using a lighter color is that i can be as heavy handed as i want to be and it still won't look too much because it's a lighter color um the only thing is if you have thicker eyebrows this technique probably won't work for you because your hairs will be in the way but i have such sparse eyebrows i could probably put bloody blonde on top and my eyebrows would look blonde i'm going into the darker brown color and i'm filling in any parts of the eyebrow which can't be filled in with the lighter one because i find when i use a lighter dip brow um I can't really get the really bold, sparse areas of my eyebrow, so I just go in with the darker one and then that covers up the area that I need it to. Last of all, I'm just going to go into my Prism palette. The only reason I'm going into this palette is because it's got a really pigmented black. Um, so I'm just going to take the black shade that's in there. Honestly, just take any black. And then I'm just going to draw the front hairs of my eyebrows on. To clean up my eyebrows, I'm taking, as you probably already know, my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I take this in the colour C10, C8 or C7. I really don't mind which shade. They all look fine on my skin tone, to be honest. With the concealer, I am just going to blend it out on either edge just so that my foundation can easily blend into it because if I just keep it here and then I put um, my eyeshadow on, I can't really blend my foundation up there because I risk smudging my eyeshadow. So just be sure to like blend out your concealer on either edge. To set that, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier powder. And I also set my eyebrows too, just because it is a pomade and I have oily skin. If I actually today, I feel like a lot of people are going to be happy with my choice because it's so affordable and it's easy and it's easily accessible to like the UK, the US, and wherever you are because it's a brand which is known worldwide. Um, it's the BH Cosmetics um, Second Edition 120 palette. So you do get a lot of shades, and as you can tell, they are pigmented. I don't know where BH Cosmetics have gone, like, why is nobody using them anymore? I use them all the time, like, if I want to do a colourful look, this is where I'm at, you know what I mean? Like, this is where I am. So I'm going to go in with this, hmm, this blue shade just here. So with the eyeshadow, you do want to go all the way around your eye and bring it all the way down to here like your inner corner as well because we're doing a halo eye today so now we're going to go into the darker blues here i'm going to go into this shade it's like the most vibrant darkest blue because the rest are kind of gray toned this shade i'm not going to take as far up because we want to keep it uh in the middle I'm not good at describing these things. Guys. Now I'm going to go in with this darkest colour in the palette here. This blue. It looks like black on the camera but it's not. It's a really deep blue. Again I'm going back in with my Makeup Revolution Concealer. I've used so many of these since they've come out guys. Like so many. And I don't even wear makeup every day. I wear makeup like once 
every two weeks. I'm just going to cut off the end of this eyeshadow. You could also use a wipe. I don't really know why I'm not using a wipe. To cut the crease, I always start in the middle here. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. And then I kind of just look up a little bit and then you can see where you're meant to go. You're just going to want to wipe off your brush at this point so that there's no concealer on it. Make sure that it's dry and then you're just going to start blending out the edges of the concealer. And now that that is done, I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place palette and this is the Magic palette. And I'm going to have this silver shade just here as my base. But stick around for what I'm going to put on top, guys, because honestly, you're not going to believe how much it costs. Now is the big product switch I have been waiting for. Like, I've been so excited to film this video for this product. It's from the drugstore. It costs £5. Let me just give you a swatch because I just couldn't believe my eyes when I saw these. Do you see that? Like, oh, you can't even tell. But it's basically an eyeshadow topper which reflects like blue and purple. You really can't tell on camera like I promise you. But yeah, this is the Barry M. Like who would have thought this is Barry M. Um, holographic eyeshadow topper. They do glitters. They have like pinks, purples, orange. They have everything and this costs £5 from the drugstore. So I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes so that I can do my under eye. Something that I've been really enjoying at the moment is this NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner. Guys, if you're into like your eye art, so good. Like you can get so thin with the liner. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to be taking this silver just here. Then I'm going to go back in with the Barry M thing. So, I found my, like, new favourite lashes. And these lashes don't even, like, they just don't look good in the packaging. And when I got them, I was like, mm. uh. Okay, so this is what they look like in the packaging. Let me just... So, yeah, these are the eyelashes that I'm using. And these are cheaper than the other AliExpress ones, which I did a video on. These ones are 99p. So I feel like I'm just going to be using these ones forever on out because the other ones are like £2. And, you know, I could get two pairs for one, so... Now that that is done, let's just move on to skin. First of all, for my foundation routine, I'm going to be using the Professional. This is like a step that I... Never! No, I'm kidding, that, is, that I never miss. Um, I use about this much and it just fills in your pores so nicely. So I'm just going to blend that in, push it into my skin. Okay, so for um, foundation, I'm going to be using the All Night Foundation in the shade 7.75. This is slightly too orange for me, but it's what I'm using. I've been really enjoying this foundation recently. And as I've said in a previous video, I believe, I've only been loving it because of the professional. It just makes my skin look so much smoother. Whereas if I were to use this foundation without the professional, my skin it looks so bumpy, guys, like so textured. Concealer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution concealer. As you already know, as I say every time, like that is in every single video. I'm using the Makeup Revolution concealer. To set that, I will be using the Laura Mercier powder. To bronze, I'm going to be using the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm just going to be going into this shade just here. So to contour, I'm going to be using this sleek duo, I mean trio, um, in the colour dark. I'm just going to cut that contour with 
my Laura Mercier powder again. Just there. So now that that is just baking away, I'm going to do my blush. Let's go for this orangey shade here. Seeing as this is a blueberry look, I thought that I would go in with a mysterious kind of highlight. I'm going to go in with the Aurora palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I think I'm going to take this blue one just here just to see what it's like because I've never actually used it before. So I'm wearing my favourite nude on my lips, which is the Kate's Cosmetics Creme de la Creme colour. So anyway guys, this is the finished look. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also follow me on my social medias down below. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!